Hiya. Today I'm fitting a Oxford Ox, Oxymeister. I thought it was Optimizer, but it's Oxymizer uh, charger to the Royal Enfield 500 trials bike. Now, that's the lead that comes out of the Oxymizer with a sort of what looks like a Tamiya type jack plug on it. And that's the lead that goes to the battery. And this is the bit you leave on the bike. And I'm just going to take you through how to fit that so that you can plug your charger in, get your bike ready for the spring. Now this I made, and I know that the blue wire is the live wire, and the brown wire is the, the negative earth wire. But they're brown and blue, which isn't very good, so I want to make them red and black. So I'm going to heat shrink a piece of uh, heat shrink a piece of heat shrink over the a black one over the brown wire, and a red one over the blue wire. So there's the two wires, and I've loosely fitted these um, heat shrink sleeves over. Get the heat gun. So now we've, they've shrunk on there, we've clearly got the wires marked correctly. The red wire for the positive terminal and the black wire for the negative terminal. And this is really the only bit really we can go wrong fitting one of these, is to get the polarity of the wires the wrong way around. Now I've left this with quite a long piece of um, stripped wire there, and I'll come back to that and show you why I've left it that long. Here's the bike we're fitting it to, the Enfield 500 Electra, so it's got a carb and starter motor. The battery is behind that case there. So we need the ignition key. That just falls off those lugs there. Set that aside when we can't stand on it. The tools we need are basically screwdrivers and a spanner. So we need to get to these terminals here, that terminal there and that terminal there on the battery. This is the negative terminal which goes to earth which is black and negative. That's the red one which is positive. Now I can't get to that screw there because of this bar. So we'll just release these, uh, this bracket. And that will allow us to just pull the battery forward a little bit. That's two screws holding this in. That's one, that's the other. Now what I'm going to do is just pull the battery forward so we can get to that terminal. I hope you can see that. That needs to be lifted out of the way. I'm just going to lean that forward like that just so we can access it. I'm just going to put this cloth behind there just to hold it in place while we work on it. Now, unfortunately, looking at this, I don't like the look of this. This is two crimped terminals, which are looking a bit unreliable. What I'm going to do, I'll take that off and uh, I'll solder on a better connection, so make it nice and reliable. That's what I, I like, really reliable bikes. So let's take it off. Came undone a bit easily for my liking. Looks a bit, a bit dirty. Yeah, I don't like the look of these. Look, that's horrible. Don't know why there's two wires there. Anyway, I'd be much happier if that was re reconnected in a more professional fashion. I'm going to work on that. Come back to you. First thing I'm going to do is cut these horrible connections off. There we are. Now I'm going to use the wire strippers. Get myself a
Now, I've got a loop here. I'm hoping this. I'm going to just open it up in the vise. Just pop that in the vise and open it up a little bit. Oh, we want that on. Nearly forgot. Get that on before we make this connection. That's one way of doing it. So now we've got a very solid joint there. It's a bit hot. I don't want it to trigger the heat shrink too soon. The next stage is to fit this back on there and this. Now what I'm going to do, the red one is the red one and the black one is the black one. I'm going to form that into a loop. So we can, we can uh, trap it under the bolt and under there. Now, when, you, when you're doing these, you want to have the loop going the same way as the bolt tightens up. It just means they work better that way. So let's put that through there. Fit that loop that we've made over the bolt. And drop the bolt into the top of the battery. Get it nice and straight. Nice tight connection. So we've secured the positive first onto the battery. The connections here look okay. So what I'll do now is I'll just loop, make a former loop in the wire and trap it under or between the washers of the terminals that are there. We can push the battery back in. This is protecting us from the chassis of the bike. And that goes nicely back. We need to fit this bracket that holds the starter solenoid, and that goes just behind that. There we have it. The black negative lead is cor correctly mounted on the negative and the red one on the positive. The positive nicely insulated from the chassis. So that's all you have to do. You want to position this somewhere where it's going to be accessible when you've got the side panel back on. So, charge the bike. We'll do a quick test before we put it all together. We'll plug the, the uh, charger in. We'll plug it in. Interestingly, the charger, without even being plugged in, shows us that we've got the polarity right, because if we had the polarity wrong, the red light would show. We'll just plug this in. green light comes on 
showing we're receiving power from the mains and we're charging the battery. When it's fully charged, then the final light will come on. So we know we've got it in the right position. I'm going to unplug it momentarily. That's out of the way. So here we have our charging lead, which we can... I thought that might come out of it. It'd be perfect there, actually. And when we put the bike into storage, we get our plug. Correctly on the plug. And there we are, being charged. So I'll leave that charging for a while, because it was getting a bit low. That's it, that's how you do it. Here's the final result of our labours this morning. Fitting the Oxymizer, Oxford Oxymizer battery charger to the Royal Enfields in the storage area next to the XS650 hardtail chopper and a XVS650 bobber project. And there it is in the storage area, charging away, ready to use whenever the sun comes out. So if you like what I'm doing, subscribe or like and uh, get ready for the next instalment.